switch to the makeup chair and today we're gonna do this pink smoky look okay guys so this is a really dewy look as always because I used this foundation again because I just love it I can't stop using it but it's really pretty I really like how it looks on my skin I really liked how it sinks in it just like melts into your skin it's really pretty but anyway other than the foundation the eyes are really pretty you could change the the crease color you could change the lip color you could change anything with this look you can have a matte look and these this video is kind of all about these pro fusion palettes I got the highlight one and it's really pretty that's what I have on now I have like three highlights on right now like you don't even know I have this pro fusion contour palette in medium looks like this and I have the pro fusion eye palette in natural they're amazing I love them I got these palettes when I was in Orlando in Walgreens that Walgreens is amazing I, I can't I can't like that Walgreens like there's testers there and you could try it and there's like you could try the stuff that's there like the testers and like you could put it on your face and they have like a whole freaking vanity in the freaking place and like it's so freaking cute like I feel like I'm in a freaking Ulta like that's yeah that's I'm in Ulta but yeah I hope you guys like this video comment down below if you want anything else and yeah so we're just gonna get on with this video now Okay guys, so today is all about these Pro Fusion palettes and I got three of them. Since I was in Orlando, I got three. Uh, we went to Walgreens first of all and I was looking in the makeup aisle because I needed hairspray but we ended up not getting hairspray. Um, but we needed some Advil just in case because when we go on roller coasters then our stomach starts hurting so we need to get Advil to bring with us we got that but I looked at the makeup aisle that's in Orlando that Walgreens is amazing it's awesome it's like the the street is like Turkey Lake or something I don't know I don't remember I think so as weird as that sounds I think that's what it's called but these I got and these were five dollars uh even though it says 10 right here it was 50 percent off so it was five dollars and it these palettes i can't believe it um there is more pal there is more of these kind of palettes there i think there's like two more uh, i think of the eyes uh there is eyes i got i got the highlight one and i got the contour one the eyes ones i got the pro eyeshadow case in natural there is i think drama and glam i'm pretty sure and um this is the contour one is in medium and uh, that's all they had is medium. These are the only two uh, palettes of contour and highlight they had there. Um, but they do have a website, profusion.com. I checked it last night. And they have kind of good stuff. And it's really, really not that expensive. It's like $7. And uh, I really plan on getting some more stuff. Because this stuff blends so amazing. And it's, it's amazing. So let's just get on with this video. Because I have a feeling that this video is going to be long already. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing, but these are the colors of the eyeshadows right here, and it's really, really pretty. I really love these colors. It's like a white to a pinkish to like a purple pinkish and like to a dark, dark brown. I really like them. It's I love this palette. It's so pretty. Um, it, they blend nicely, and it comes with this kind of with a two-ended brush. Um, they are pigmented. Some of the shades aren't that pigmented, but it's pigmented enough. Um, but yeah, um, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take this side of the brush, which is just like a, uh, a flat side, and I'm going to take, I'm going to do the brow bone first. I'm going to take pale gold, pale gold, which is this shade right here, and I'm just going to take that and put it on my brow bone. Oh, and I we are in a different area. This is my closet right here. I did want a different background, and so I was like, you know what? Let's let's like use my closet. And I don't know if you guys would like it. I don't know, but I think it's good for right now. My transition color, because it's like a perfect transition color. It is this shade right here. This shade is called Fawn. And so I'm just gonna take that color with the fluffy side. We're just gonna put that in the crease. I'm not doing my face first. I want to use my eyes because I don't know what I'm doing with my eyes. I don't know if I want to do something natural. I want to do something dark or something like that. And then I'm gonna take this color named Lilac right here. I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna be careful. I'm gonna put that like literally right under the crease. 
just to build up the color a little bit but just put it under the crease even though this color is like um like a hmm like a purple but it it shows up on the lid kind of pink like an orangey pink I would say I uh, to me it looks like that but I'm just gonna put it right under mostly on the lid to be honest and then I'm gonna take this color named chestnut right here with the same fluffy brush I'm really just like building up the color um so I'm gonna be hardly taking other brushes I'm just gonna blend those two colors uh, fawn and lilac together and just make it a little bit more browner because lilac made it a little bit pinky I kind of want it to be more brown uh, this shade right here this is I don't remember what this is from to be honest um, it doesn't have a name or anything um, but I got this on my ipsy bag so if you want to you could go check on some of my ipsy uh, unboxing kind of videos um i don't remember what this is i think it's makeup geek and I, I don't know i don't know I, I don't know um i think what i'm gonna do is just put that right in the middle i guess i'm gonna spray my brush with some setting spray with only just like one little squirt on each side I like and then I'm just gonna I this is I don't know what this brush is but I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna like get in there I guess and like put it right in the center of my lid I'm gonna wet my brush more I'm gonna wet my brush with the shadow on there you don't want to soak it because then it just won't work I'm just going to start moving it around on the lid, mostly keeping it in the center of the lid, but I'm moving, just patting it around. And then I'm going to take this shade right here named Pearl with the same brush that I applied that other pink. I'm just going to like go over that. I'm just going to really dab all over my lid as you see like it's building up once I do that but it's mostly in the center of the lid. And I'm just dabbing, like going up, but dabbing on the, dabbing where the that brown is. I'm just like gonna go up with it and stuff. I'm not gonna really blend it because I don't want that area to be very, very shiny at all. I just really want it to be uh, just like ombre it out. Just like ombre everything out to be honest. Because then everything will look blended. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm just going to start using this LA Color Liquid Liner. And this is in the shade brown. I'm just going to do that real quick. Okay, I think your girl's back. Oh, your girl is back. Okay, so now I want to do the, the, the brow bone again real quick. Which we used. Remember we used pa Pale Gold. I'm just going to put retouch on that real quick. And then... Um, I'm gonna do my mascara, which this mascara is amazing. Um, my mom was going through my closet because my closet's a mess. Um, this was, it was a bunch of makeup, like, literally in my closet. I don't know why and how it got there, but, like, there was lip glosses, there was lipsticks in my closet. Like, I never, like, what? Um, I didn't know I don't remember putting them in there to be honest but I my mom found this and this is the superhero it cosmetics mascara in black and it is amazing it's I have to say this mascara is way better than better than mascara by Too Faced it has to be like literally like but yeah I feel like this is better than that mascara but then again, I feel like they're like dupes for each other. Um, I feel like they're the same exact thing because I did before put them side to side. And I feel like they're the same. Like they give the same thing. Like literally the same thing. Like maybe the Too Faced one, I think it gives a little bit more volume to it. But this one gives it way more length than the Too Faced one. I okay, so now I'm going to use these lashes. I don't know where they're from. I don't remember where I got them. But they look like this. They're really a lot. Like, they give my lashes, I feel. I don't think it was in focus. But I, I think they these lashes give a lot of, um, 
volume to my lashes. So I'm going to do like my primer and my foundation real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my, the whole face, uh, just not contour and highlight and blush and stuff like that. Um, so I'm going to take this Pro Professional Contour Palette like I showed you guys in the beginning. I'm going to take the color named Honey, that like that light contour shade right there I'm just gonna take that with a stippling brush and then I'm just going to bronze up the skin then what I'm gonna be doing is uh, taking a contour shade which is um, which is the same palette I'm just gonna take this color whatnot I'm gonna take the same uh, brush And then I'm going to take this color from the contour palette named Vanilla with this same flat brush. I'm going to do my forehead too. And I'm going to do the, my nose. And I'm going to do right under the eye. Just to brighten that area up a little bit more. And then um, I don't really necessarily bake no more under the contour and bronzer. I just take the same pressed powder again with the same brush and I literally like just sweep it right under there to make it a little bit sharper. You could take any powder to be honest that you have that matches your skin tone um, or translucent powder. And then I'm gonna put a highlighter on. Uh, this contour this contour palette also has a highlight. It's called the highlighter. Um, but I'm not going to use that at all. I'm going to go with the highlighter palette. Uh, and I'm just going to take from there. Um, and the contour palette and the highlighter palette comes with this little brush. But I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use... I'm just going to take my... I'm just going to take my Fash Cosmetics fan brush. And there's a couple of shades in here that are really pretty. Uh, these two shades, which is, which is white, pearl, and pale gold... Uh, these two shades are in the eyes palette pale gold and this color called light pink which is right here I'm just gonna take that and I think it will be really pretty together so I'm just gonna take those three shades I'm just gonna put it right over there um, now we're gonna do blush unfortunately there's no blush in these palettes at all but I'm gonna take this blush right here and it's called it's I don't know what this blush is to be honest but it, it looks like this packaging looks like this um, it has a C and a G on the bottom and which kind of like like reminds me of something but I don't know it's familiar but put a little bit on my uh, Luxie 522 highlighter brush I'm gonna mostly keep it right back here and then I'm gonna like bring it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose because I don't know what's with it but since like like it's Christmas almost and like next month is Christmas I just feel like I need to be a little bit like Santa Claus and I need to have some rosy nose but now what I'm gonna be doing is the bottom lashes so let me zoom you guys a little bit closer for you guys to see it a little bit more so what we're kind of going to do is the same thing that we did right up here, which is I'm going to take this brush right here and I'm going to take Fawn first. I'm going to take Fawn. I'm just going to put it right down there. And then I'm going to take Lilac. And then I'm going to take Chestnut. And then I'm going to take this NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean. Just going to put that in the waterline. And then I'm going to take this color uh, named Black Brown right here. I'm going to take that color with the same exact brush. Just going to put it right on the tip. And then I brought the, the black a little bit down. And so I'm just going to smoke that out a little bit. Just like that, it's really glam. Like this look is glam. Like, and then I'm gonna take this brush again, and I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna take some pearl. I'm gonna take the pearl shade right here, and gonna put it right in the inner corner. 
And then I want to take this NYX Vivid Bright Gunmetal Liner. And I just want to put it a little bit in the inner corner, I think. So it's like a cat eye. So let me just do that and see how that looks. But yeah, just like a little, little, little kind of thing right there. And for the lip scent, this like all pink and like... Mm, and like, mm. um, I'm gonna take the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and I don't know, in Instobable, Instobable, I don't know, I don't know, it's not focusing really much, but, just like that, easy peasy, oh my god, I really like this look, like, it's really, really pretty, I mean, I say that to every single freaking look that I do, but like, girl, all of them are like totally glam, like glam all the way. And then I'm just going to put this Ulta makeup, makeup setting spray on and yeah. Feels so good and refreshed. I feel so refreshed right now because I haven't worn makeup in like how many days? Like three. But I feel really f refreshed. I feel refreshed. Every single time I put on makeup, like, when it's been, like, a while, I feel so refreshed. Like, you don't even know. You don't even know. But, yeah. I really like this makeup. I really like how it turned out. Comment down below if you think that it turned out really perfect and really glam. You can change the latches. You can change the dark brown in the crease. You can change the lip. Show your fan friends and your strangers. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. These nights are getting shorter